hunting for an attacker. Several boats combing Crane Creek in Melbourne for the Gator. Police say bit a homeless man Monday morning, sending him to the hospital. Uh, when we capture the animal, uh, we'll take DNA, uh, swab through its mouth, and also uh, bite infection to uh, make sure that we capture the right animal. The search is a joint effort among Florida Fish and Wildlife, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, and Melbourne Police. An FWC spokesman tells me the gator will be euthanized. As for the 56-year-old man bitten, he was hospitalized. His injuries are not believed to be life-threatening, but for onlookers, it's a scary reminder. I stay out of the water, you know, because I know there's alligators in there. It's been just over three months since two-year-old Lane Graves was killed in an alligator attack at a Disney resort. Andrea Falk says she's especially cautious with her five-year-old. She knows what they look like. She knows that they could eat her in one bite. She's not allowed in any water unless I'm in it with her. FWC says gator attacks are rare, so people should not be alarmed, just aware. Any body of water in the state of Florida has the potential of uh, a attack for an alligator. In Melbourne, Alex Villarreal, West 2 News.